Hello, so my name is Robbie. I'm a Green Status presenter. Um, Jen Zucker asked uh, her team to make some videos, some training videos about our best booking practices. And quite honestly, um, I think I struggle as much as the next girl with booking, but I try to keep uh, at least one or two parties going online at all times. Um, and I don't excel at that area, and so I'm not gonna give any advice on that. Somebody else can take that one, it is not gonna be me. But um, I also try to have at least one or two face-to-faces during the week. Um, I'll ask a friend, you know, you wanna come over and play in my makeup, or um, let me help you color match for when the foundation comes back in, uh, just those kinds of things, and I, I seem to keep one or two at least throughout the week. Um, and so that's been working well for me. But what I have figured out is I am actually good at planning parties. <laughs> so um, we, my team and I excelled at events this fall. Um, we were really good at finding the events and setting up at the events, making people want to stop at our table and talk to us. Um, it seemed to be something we were really good at. But um, I know you're thinking to yourself, okay, fall is over, Christmas is over, the holidays are over. Um, it's like listening to crickets in my area. I don't have any events to even go to. Um, so my challenge to you is to why wait for somebody else to make your business a success? Why are you waiting for an event to happen? My challenge is to you to create your own event. Yep, I know you're thinking, what, I can't do that. It's really, I think you can. I really think you can. Um, right after, sorry, I made notes, I'm looking down. Uh, right after um, Christmas, some friends and I got together um, they actually, I have friends that are in the networking, marketing um, for different companies, right? So they're selling different things than I am. And so we all got together and decided to create an online um, party where we called it the After Christmas Shopping Mall, online shopping mall. And we all post our, our products and our videos and our um, our thoughts uh, onto this online event. Now, whether or not you wanna create an event or a page or a group, that's also somebody else's area. I am not tech savvy. I don't know how the whole Facebook thing works very well. I do know that you have problems in groups, you have problems in events, you have problems in pages, and somebody else probably knows more about that than I do. But um, it seemed to work well for us. Not only are we um, in a group where all of the other presenters invite their friends, so that's helpful, but we also, it's a, like a networking group, right? So we're meeting new people, we're interacting with other vendors or other network marketers that um, have ideas that we wouldn't have, and so it's been very good that way. But if you're not into online stuff, um, you can always host an in-home party. And I have started in the last couple of months to do what I call the New, you, New Year series. Um, and in December, I hosted a party in my own home um, I called it the Smoky Eye and Sangria. And so I invited all of my local friends and had them come over and we played in my makeup. And that was the month that I had a lot of palettes on hand, the addiction palettes. And so I had a lot of those for cash and carry in December and that worked really well. And I also sold a lot of mascaras. So then I thought, well, that worked well. Maybe this next month I'm going to do something different. So I did the, um, what did I do? Oh, we haven't done it yet. It's in this month. Um, I've already put out the invitations and I'm calling it a makeover and mimosa. 
Um, so it's just a social. It's to get people in my house and looking at my products and just visiting. Women want to be pampered. They want an excuse to get out of the house, possibly away from their husband, possibly away from their kids for a while, and just be pampered. Get to socialize with other women, get to have a snack. We should probably have food and drinks are good and it doesn't always have to be alcoholic. Um, I'm also thinking in the coming months I'm going to do something in the backyard like a patio, a backyard bash or a s'mores and, I don't know, s'mores and smoothies. I don't know. It doesn't matter. As long as you're having a social and you're having friends over just to chat. Um, you could go out of the box and invite other vendors, other girls that you know that are distributors of other products, and have it be a networking party. You never know when all, where all of this stuff is going to lead. Um, and I am blessed and fortunate that I have a house that I feel comfortable inviting people over to. Um, but if you don't, don't let that stop you. You can always rent the community center. Um, you can possibly team up, team up with another business in your town um, that wouldn't mind having people come into their shop and calling it a girl's night out or something. I mean, there's always options. You've got to keep looking for ways to get yourself out there, ways to bring people to you. Um, that's one of the great things about this business. If something doesn't work, you try it a different way. If something does work, you go for it and keep doing it until you perfect it and then you share it with others. So um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, oh, so last month, which yes, was December, um, one of my friends decided that she, she runs like a, I don't, I don't want to call it a thrift shop, but she goes to thrift shops and she buys stuff. And then she has garage sales all summer long. And she sells this stuff and makes a profit, which I think is pretty genius. But in the wintertime, what does she do? She can't have a garage sale, right? So she hosted her own um, craft and vendor show. Um, she put it on herself. She invited all of the vendors that she knew. She charged them a small fee. Um, flyers went out. Everybody invited their own friends on Facebook. It's turned into a community deal where um, some of the businesses were open that night and women went and shopped and then their men went and did something else that was a, in a local business. Um, so my point is why wait for the holiday season to have an event? It's crazy. Do something Anytime you need sales or it's a slow month and you think, what am I going to do, host an event. I bet you and some friends can get together and figure out a great way to create your own gathering. Let's see what else. I think I, I, think I went over it. Okay, so my challenge to you obviously, is to create your own event. And how do you do that? First of all, you need to decide what kind of event you're going to host. Is it going to be online? Is it going to be in your home? Are you going to um, include other vendors? And then you need to figure out where your event is going to be hosted. So if it's in your own home, um, how you're going to do it on Facebook, um, how, where are you going to do it in your community, that kind of thing. Then you need to invite your friends and have everyone else invite their friends and have fun. That's all there is to it, okay? Let's see. Oh, don't forget to advertise, okay? Get it on Facebook, possibly some flyers, some word of mouth is always good. And um, that's my challenge to you, all right? Have some good booking practices. Thanks.